Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is all about Jamboards. I want to teach you today how you can make interactive backgrounds to upload to your Jamboard. And this is good because it'll help you to be able to really include that interactive piece with your learners, especially if you are participating in any form of virtual learning. So. Before I jump in, I do want to show you this is one example of a Jamboard that I recently created for my kindergarten teachers. And so with this, they are able to have their think space and then live as the teachers are literally on Zoom teaching, they are able to look at the sticky notes, read the question. And then I put the question for them in Spanish too, um, because they have a lot of Spanish speakers in their classes this year. So I have the questions and then live as students are talking to them, teachers can go ahead and type in what it was that the student was saying because their overall goal for this Jamboard is for kindergartners to practice beginning, middle and end sequencing, retelling a story. And so now, whenever you are viewing this, keep an open mind because even though this Jamboard specifically was for kindergartners, you could think about how you could use this and adapt it for a different grade level. And I'm actually going to show you how you can um, create different backgrounds that you can use for Jamboard. And so that's one example. Then there's another example. This one is for first grade. They are creating um, poems. And so with that, the children are able to gather their thoughts, write their poems here, write a class poem, verse two and verse three. So now I do want to go to, it's called jam.new right here. And so that allows you to be able to enter and open up a brand new Jamboard, okay? So what I'm going to do here is show you how I create a background. So you can go here to set background and you know you can change the background. Um, that's fine, that's all good and well. But I want to make a unique custom background for the specific lesson that I'm teaching. So I'm going to go into, I already have a Google Slides presentation made, but you would just make a new Slides presentation. And I'm going to open up a new blank slide. And this is where I am going to start creating my background. Okay. so. The lesson that I'm going to teach today is math related. And so the goal is 100. How many ways can you make 100? Any math equation you want to use as long as it equals 100. So let's type that in. How many ways can you make 100? And then of course, from here, whoop, let me make that look a little better there. Okay, and so of course from here, now I'm going to update my fonts. I've really been um, into, let's see, where is it? I've really been into this font lately. Londrina Solid. I don't know why, but that's just been my font of choice lately. So now let's center that up. And then another thing I like to do with alignment, I like to make sure it is right there in the middle. Okay, how many ways can you make 100? I'm going to make 100 red to kind of make it stand out. Okay, and I'm going to insert a table for each of the mathematical operations. And so what my goal is, is to have kids to be able to do, or I could even do this virtually if I wanted to, but the goal is to be able to have them to drag and drop or create, organize their equations based on their um, the operation. So I'm gonna go to insert now, and I'm going to insert a shape. 
and let's go down here to equations. And you see here I have all my math symbols, all right? So let's do addition. So I'm gonna make an addition symbol right here. And I'm just putting it up here for now because I'm gonna color it later on. Okay, so we have addition, insert, shape, and let's get subtraction. Ooh. Make that a little bit smaller. Insert. Oops. Multiplication. And lastly, we will insert division. Okay, so I'm going to color these now. I might even need to resize them too because they're looking a little big. All right, and then here we go, right here. Okay. Let's make the border color. Mm, me personally, I like to make the, um, if you look at your Jamboard and you see the sticky notes, these are the colors of the sticky notes. And so me personally, I like to make my columns match what color the sticky notes are. And so what I'm gonna do is make addition. I'm gonna make that with the color of one of my sticky notes. So we have pink and let's just give it a thick, maybe like three. Now let's see what four looks like. Yeah. And then another color, let's do this blue four. Now is when I get to decide how I want to make my lines. I actually am going to delete one of these rows. So now I'm just left with one row and I'm gonna move my, drag my columns so that they match up with their symbol, their mathematical operation symbol. Let's pull it down just a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter a bunch because I want the kids to be able to have space to put their answers. Something else I might do too is to highlight, right click, and distribute the columns. That way they are exactly the same size. Great. So now I get to say, see if I like the way it looks, which I do. So now this is the part where you are actually going to save it. So you are going to go to, to file. Well, first make sure this slide is selected because whichever slide you select right now is the one that you're going to save to use as your background. So you will select that slide, go to file, download, and you're going to download it as a PNG. And you see how it says current slide? That's what you are going to do. And you see how it just downloaded for me? Now I'm gonna go up here to my untitled jam. I'm going to give that jam a title. Let, let's make, oops, 100. And now I will set the background. I'm gonna choose image. And when this happens, since I have my download already down here, I can just drag it up and drop it. If I did not have that download there, then I would be able to upload it by clicking upload and then going into my computer to um, find the file. So now I have my background and this is great because none of it moves. So for example here, if I were to assign this to my kids, they can move this around, they can erase it, they can delete things, but because I made this background a PNG, they can't move anything that I don't want them to move. And so now I will go to add my sticky notes in. And then here, since I'm making this for teachers um, on second grade team, I'm going to give them instructions on what to do. You as the teacher, if you're making this for yourself, you might not need to do this. But here I'm going to add in, let's do pink. And so pink will be addition equations. All right, save. 
And then I'll add in like another two or three. And then we'll go to, what were the other colors that I had? Addition, addition, addition. And then now I'm going to duplicate, put that over here, edit, and we'll make this blue. And now we have subtraction, subtraction equations, save. And we're gonna duplicate that bad boy three times. Okay, duplicate a fourth. And you see the process, right? Okay, and just like that, now if I want to, I can click up here and expand, and then I can duplicate this slide if I wanted to duplicate it. And so now here's my first slide and here's my second slide. If I wanted to go back in and say, for example, Jamboard backgrounds, how many ways, first let me click undo because I totally messed up this slide when I was demonstrating earlier. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna right click and duplicate this slide. Let's say, how many ways can you make? 200. And we'll do the same type thing. I'm very visual and I know my kids are too, so I like to change the colors to make it clear that this is a totally different slide. So now, how many ways can you make? 200. I'm going to select this slide, file, download as a PNG. There we go, it is downloaded. Going back to my game, let's make 100. And you saw right how I have my slide one and my slide two. Now I'm on slide two and you guessed it, I'm gonna change the background. So set background, click here to have a new image. I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to try to drag and drop. Drag. Urgh. There we go. Drag and drop that background. And here we go. How many ways can you make 200? And I didn't even need to change anything because you can still make equations to 200 using multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. And so if you look here, how many ways can you make 100? Okay, cool, now we can practice this. How many ways can you make 200? Okay, cool, now we can practice this. And so the purpose of this video was to really help you get an idea of how to make quick and easy backgrounds on Google Slides for your Google Jamboard. And that just gives you an interactive edge instead of everything being paper pencil or guys pull out your, turn your cameras, Turn on, turn on your cameras, turn on your cameras and show me your work. Well, now it's interactive. Now it's online. It's right in front of you. And what's better is that if you are able to have your kids to log in with their Google accounts, their student issued Google accounts, then they can actually drag and drop right there on the board and you can create multiple boards so that your students can collaborate with one another. And don't think this is only for elementary. This goes all the way up to college. This goes to adult Spanish classes. However, there's so many different ways that you can use it. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it made a difference for you in your educational technology journey.